my own boho jumpsuit made in one hour yes guys no side that even no too much long story and it's looking this beautiful okay join me in this tutorial as i take you on the journey of how to make this sexy masterpiece hello to all my beautiful fashionistas hello to all my all my boo boo jumpsuit lovers i'm here once more so there's this video i made and currently within three days this video is getting like 1500 views and people have been calling me and saying mama please that pattern you that uh, illustration you made on pattern we don't want we want to see it on fabric so today i'm going to be doing it on fabric so someone just sent in this fabric and said mama cut it and make it on this fabric let's see it let's see it and you know the funniest thing guys i've, been, I've not been this loved this fabric was sent to me free hmm. person say mama i dash you use it to cut that style and let's see so let's go into the tutorial the first thing you do is the first thing you are going to do is iron your material properly be folding the material your fabric okay to fold it like this you have to use the largest circumference you have in your body and my largest circumference i have in my body is my hips which is the 45 inches now to be because this is a boo boo jumpsuit right it's supposed to be have it's supposed to have freedom so to all our to all our circumferences we are going to be adding six inches plus the sewing allowance which is two inches that is eight inches that is for bust is 40 40 plus 8 inches you get it that's what you mark now for my hip measurement now my hip is 45 45 plus 8 inches is equals to 43 divided by 4 is 13.25 so i'll be folding my material to be uh, 13.25 so approximately let's just say 15 i'll be folding this material this way 15 but then that is not the only thing we are going to be doing now because of our uh, uh crotch in front for the jumpsuit because of our crotch in front and this is where the crotch is going to be so we are going to be folding in two inches this way fold it in that means that 15 inches we are going to be marking here add two inches to it which is 17 inches so what i will be marking now what i will be marking now is 17 inches all through all the way down to mark out the two inches that is for the crotch measurements I mark out two inches that is for the crotch measurements and we fold it in Remember to pin down the material. This is chiffon, so it's really, really shaking. So you have to pin it down and just be careful because any inches you are adding is helping you disfigure your clothes, your stand, okay? So you don't need to add any inches. Now we are going to be marking out our border line. marked out my border line remember i told you if your chalk is not really marking well soak it in water 
so I've soaked it my, in water now. Now we are going to be marking out our shoulder line, which is 8 inches. I also mark it somewhere around here so that I'll be able to. My armhole is 10 inches. I marked the 10 inches all through. Now I mark my three inches standard measurement for the neckline. Okay, I also mark my three inches standard me measurement for the neckline here. That's for the front. For the front, then I connect it nicely this way. I connect it nicely this way. Now for the back back line, we are maintaining three inches standard for the shoulder and one inch neck depth okay now we will now connect we now come down here by one inch so that we'll be able to connect slant out our shoulder okay now we are going to be coming out here by we make sure nine the remaining is nine inches the center is 4.5 which is here then we are going to be coming in by half inch okay we come in by half inch okay coming by half inch and then we mark it out nicely mark it out nicely okay now we mark our vertical measurements which is Shoulder to bust, 11 inches. Shoulder to under bust, 14 inches. Okay, because in this uh, shoulder to under bust, 14 inches, but we will not be using 14 inches. We'll be using somewhere between the under bust and the waist. Okay, so I want to mark my waist is 16 inches, so I'm going to be marking 15 inches. Okay, that's what I'm going to be using okay now my hip line is 24 okay my hip line is 24 but where i need the waistline let's rule it up for me i've soaked my Okay. I will be needing my waist measurement, waistline, because I need to determine my crotch line. Okay. But let's this leave this for now so that we will not get confused. Okay. As the chalk line is not really that clear. Okay. So this is why I always use pattern because if it's pattern, everything will be very clear. Okay, but now that I'm working, please look at it properly and you will get to see what I'm doing. Okay, so now on the bust line, my bust measurement is 40. Okay, it's 40 plus. Now, my waistline is 36. Okay, 36 plus 8 inches is 44, equals to 44 divided by 4 is equals to 11 plus another one is 12 inches. So exactly the same 12 inches is what I'm still marking here. <laughs> 12 inches, okay. I'll mark it somewhere around here, okay. Now my, I'm coming down to the hips. Now my hip measurement is 45. 45 plus 8 is 53 divided by 4 is divided by 4 is 13.5 plus another one is 
Now I will rule out my lines carefully. Rule out my lines carefully. I'll rule out my lines carefully. Okay. Now I will also mark out my back and home so that I'll just know that I'm done with this upper part. Okay. Okay. Okay, now coming down to the pocket area, I want my quilt to have my jumpsuit to have pocket, so I'm marking uh, two inches, one inch below the waistline, okay, like so. Okay, now I'll be marking seven inches for the opening. Okay, so while cutting it, I'm going to notch this area and know that it's for the pocket. Okay, now let's determine the crotch depth. Now, for a normal John suit for my size, I use 15 from the waist, okay, from the waistline. But this is a booboo jumpsuit and it's supposed to be free. So I want to use 17 this time around. My waistline is one inch is from here, so I'm using 17. So this is my waistline. Okay, this is my waistline. Okay, this is my waistline. So I'm taking it down by 17 inches. Okay, this boohoo gown. If you see some of this boohoo gown, you will laugh. Some of these crotches are below the knee. You understand? But I don't want mine like that. I'll make mine between 17 and 18. Okay, so let me just say it. 17 is okay. 17 is okay. Okay, this this is 17. It's okay. So from this 17, we are now going to be creating our curve. Okay, we are now going to be creating our curve. And because it's a blue gown, we are not going to slim out the leg. The leg will remain that way. And that is all, guys. We are done with this cutting. Okay, we are done with this cutting. Now look at it now. We will now open this two inches part okay so that we can create that curve we'll now open this two inches part so that we can create that curve okay so we can be able to create that curve now this is where we marked for our coach line so just from just from up this way just like from two inches from up there's no is a bubble gum we just don't want it to gather on our front of our bum bum area okay so just carve out that line like this create that crotch, crotch line now from here again you will create that crotch line in fact you can even make your own more than two inches you can make it three inches you can make it four inches it doesn't mean anything okay so we will now cut it So guys, you can now see our Now let's cut out our front line Let's cut out our neckline Okay, so this is the back neckline And then we add half inch for our joining of the shoulder Okay, hope you are seeing what I'm doing now we are going to be cutting out for the back armhole because it's the back armhole we'll be using to cut out the uh, the front this front pattern we are going to be using to cut out the back armhole. Okay, so now we we'll go straight down like that. Okay. Cut out the front pattern. Okay. Though is the front pattern we'll be using to cut out the back pattern. Okay. Make sure you still make sure you still measure to be able to get 15, 16 inches sideways. 
to avoid using is to avoid wasting your material okay So remember to use your pin to hold it okay you pin it all through you can pin it but i don't have all the time so i just use one big needle to hold it pin it all through to the, to the end now i will place place it like so The back crotch is always longer than the front crotch by two inches so that is why you are seeing the gap here more than what is supposed to be okay so we're not cut out but then we're not cut out okay so we are going to be cutting all these places is going out remember that the reason for here is because of the crotch allowance now the crotch allowance is more than the front the back one is more than the front but uh, owned by two inches that is why you see here up to two in four inches okay so we are going to be make sure you align it properly so that everything lines out now see the way i'm carving out the crotch area Okay. Yes. I'm done cutting of the bodies of the jumpsuits. Okay. What is remaining now is the joining. I will now have to cut out the sleeve. sleeve length to be 8 inches plus 2 inches allowance that is 10 inches my cap height is 4 inches my armhole is 9 inches but let me just make it 10 inches here slip is 15 that is let me make it 8 inches 15 seven and a half plus one inch allowance that is eight and a half okay that's here now we carve out Okay, so our sleeve is ready here. Yeah? Now we cut out the pockets. We cut out the pocket. The pocket is going to be four pieces too. And I want my pockets to be very deep. I want my pocket to be very deep. Fold it into two, then fold it again into four.
Okay, guys, I told you this style is very easy to make. We are done with the cutting. Okay, we are done with the cutting. Now we'll take the bodies to the sewing machine. Okay, we'll take the bodies to the sewing machine and start joining all the joinables. Okay, because the front part is two. Okay, we didn't cut out the front neckline, so I have to I need to cut out the front neckline. Neckline now. Okay, because the front, because the body is now we separated into four because of the crotch line. We are taking it to sewing machine to sew from here to the crotch and also for the back to the crotch. But we are going to be leaving small space here because the back back is going to have button, not zip. Okay, so let's take it to the sewing machine. 